Today I'm going to be doing my December Whimsy Box, and I know this is way late, but I still wanted to show y'all because it's still a fun craft. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So let's go ahead and open it up. So it is, as always, really beautifully um, packaged. So it's just a ribbon. And it has right here the instructions. And we can open this up. And here are all the materials that we're going to need along with, well first, let's open this up. This is just a really sweet little 2014 calendar. It just, um, I guess it has notes on this page and then it has a little quote this is your time to shine and then all the days so I think I will hang this up somewhere I really think it's just a really sweet little calendar and it's on nice nice thick card stocky sort of paper so I thought that was really nice that they put that in there all right then this is all the things that are in here we have this little crochet doily thing a little sticker this little shape so you can make um, the plate be a circle oval whatever this is here is my clay it's just uh, modeling clay I guess there it is here's the pin that was supposed to be on that other thing it's just my little it's just a clay making pin little file that I guess I will need <laughs> and a little stick <laughs> all right and that is all so let's go ahead and see how to do this so I guess what I'm going to be making is this little clay dish and I will just be going through the instructions and showing y'all how it goes so let's get started. All right, so here's my workstation and I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my clay. Ooh. Okay, so here's my clay and I'm supposed to just squish it around until it becomes a little bit softer and easier to work with. So I'm gonna work on that for a while. I've been working on this clay for a while. It's not that soft, but I guess this is as well as we're gonna get it. So next it says to roll it out in all the directions until big enough to uh, have the cookie cutter circle thing cut it out. And it says to use a drinking glass, but I guess you could use a rolling pin. But I'm gonna use a glass because that's what it says. And I also don't own a rolling pin. Okay, so here is uh, my rolled out dough, and I'm gonna go ahead and make the little doily print. So I'm just supposed to lift this up, slide the doily down underneath it, and do that, and roll over it a few more times. So there is my pretty little doily pattern. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut out my oval. So it says to take a bowl or dish that you already have. So I just got this little Tupperware bowl. And I'm supposed to place this in here and form it into a nice bowl shape. And then I'm going to just let it dry for several hours. 
the bowl has been drying for, I don't know, I think like four hours now, and this is what it looks like. When it's completely dry, I'm going to go around the edges uh, with the file that came with it and just file it down so it's smooth. So anyway, this is what the result is. It's a really cute little bowl. You can use it for keys or jewelry or anything. Thanks for watching.